always here. Shan Mukhari Tang Bartha. What Bartha? Of Krishna. Tattva Gyan and everything will come in that Harikatha. Oh, Krishna is very hungry. And he is coming to Mother Kyoshoda. But he has torn something in his garment, anything. And Jashoda Maya, what did? Oh, before me. Otherwise I will give a slap. Hmm? And then Krishna was weeping. Mother, mother, mother. I am very hungry. I want some milk, milk. And Jashoda was creating. Don't come. Hmm? I will, oh, I like this, you are a very dirty boy and naughty boy. <laughs> this very good. and everything is there. It is about Tattva Gyan. Moreover, Krishna, apologizing mode, taking his float and giving it in the Lord's feet of Radhika, apologizing, oh please must be merciful to me. From today I am promising I will not do any offense in your Lord's feet. What is there? How high class of? Then gopis are telling that keep your head on the Lord's feet of Radhika and promise and write a Okay. Signature, give a signature. I will not do. <laughs> what is this? Oh, high class of this. Bhavadiya Vartan? These are Bhavadiya Vartan. What has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam? Hmm? Oh, Gopi Geet, Venu Geet, Bansi, Brahma Geet, oh, Venu Geet. Oh, these are Geet means Bartha. Geet means what is meaning of Geet? Geet means dialogues. So many dialogues. So this is. If anyone hearing all these things, no need of knowing that who am I again. All will come automatically, all kinds of. So, Gan may come. But we are doing here, giving Tattva Gan. But. Oh, in Madhur Harikatha. So all are included in Bhavadiya Vartan. So if anyone doing Namaskar to the uh, where Harikatha is going, Sthane, or to Bhakta, speaker, speaker and audience. audience, and who is managing? Everything. Doing pranam to all. And hearing. Oh, Harikatha. Like surfing. Don't hear Harikatha. Never. What you do? Harikatha. Don't take prasadam. Eat. Oh, you should serve prasadam. Don't chant Harinam. You should serve Harinam. All this serving mood should be there. Shrevan Mukho Hi Jivado. Oh, auto, automatically everything. Your mood should be that. I should serve Vaishnava. I should serve Mahaprasadam. I should serve Harikatha. I should serve chanting Harine. So always. Then what will be? Sthan is Tita. Though his family life maintaining. He owes his grihastana. He may be a brahmachari, banprasthi, or he may be renounced order sannyasi, no harm. Where he is in western countries, anywhere in New York or New York, <laughs> or he is in Washington, anywhere, either he is in Africa, or Nigeria, or any place, or India, anywhere. Tanvang Manobhi is doing pranam to all 
and hearing the right of all these class of all. Oh. Then, what? Prayasho Ajit, he can control Krishna, though he is not controlled anywhere, but he will be controlled. You know, any example of this? Oh, you know Bilva Mangal? Chintamani? He was doing that as well. Yeah. And so many things he had. And Krishna what doing? Oh, like giving me. And for Like that. And that class of her field. Very easily will come. Mahaprabhu. Oh, yes, he told. It may be. He was not satisfied. In what mood you told? Kya kata hai? Gauraji? He told that it is all right, not right. it is somewhat, but go. Why he was not satisfied? Oh, Mahaprabhu wanted to hear so many uh, high class of Harikatha. Here, I think no test, there is no test. Only Nishtha is there. In this stage of Nishtha, he is hearing all these But really when a test will come, no fear at all. We should try to reach in this stage of Ruchi. Oh, it is always fear from Nishtha to go down, where there is no Sadhu Sangha. But when Ruchi will come, that class of bhats are now what? Nirbhaya. Yes. Yes. Somewhat. Somewhat. Not fully. There is fear up till a stage of first stage of rati. And if rati is full, no. Then murchi. Murchi so here he is telling Jito of Krishna and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Iho hai aage kaha aar then Rai Bhakti Rai kahe Prima Bhakti Sarva Shadhya Shah what is the meaning? Oh, you should speak something that I don't remember all these things. What, where, what I... So many things go this... Explanation I have given here and there. For Indians and high class of devotees in Hindi and Bhanga, I can tell so many things and fluently. But for English, my language is lame. I can. So there I told in Bengali perhaps or in Hindi. So, before Kartik, in Purusottam month, Jagannath Purisila Gurudev explained same Ramananda Rai Sangbad. Ah. Then Gurudev explained there. Fifteen days I here. Yeah. You are all? Yeah. Mm. That we have to give up also Tattva again. Means Krishna is Supreme Personality Godhead. Have to give up all this idea. Otherwise we could not advance in Krishna consciousness. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
somehow or that in somehow some way to hear the sari katha then gurudev gave example like ter kadamb suman sila sanatan goswami and rup goswami pad they are discussing each other krishna katha then even simati radha thakurani could not check herself she came in disguise of a village girl and asked them o oh, baba you are talking hari katha so you have no time so my mother has sent some milk and some sugar and rice why is she told like that because they are discussing about radha thakurani and krishna they are glorifying some radha thakurani oh. because she came to hear what they were yes this is the pretend and and she was pretend they may be may think that oh, why this village girl has came yes. so she is making it free yes oh baba this is this is her excuse hmm. So this was her excuse. Oh, oh Baba, very sweet. Past times I told there yeah. in Hindi. In English I can. And like Madhavendra Puri Pad is chanting Hari Nam, Krishna could not check himself. He came to give him darshan. And for Billu Mangal also, Radha and Krishna both came there. Krishna told Sri Mati Radhika, "Don't advance, otherwise the blind person will catch you." Radhika told, "Oh, he is he is blind." How he can touch me? And you don't touch. Think about this. Who is blind and very expert about sound? Hearing sound, they can understand blind one. How far you are? In one hand, Krishna is telling Radhika this thing. Other hand, he is inspiring Billu Mangal. Be ready. Radhika is coming near up to you. Now when Radhika comes closer, Krishna, don't go. You are near, near, near. About to reach. Then Billu Mangal is ready. When she came more nearer, then Billu Mangal catch her his lotus feet. Then he said, "Told I told you, don't go further. Now you are suffering. What is the result?" Then I said, "What do you want? Please give me up, give up, give up." Well, no. What do you want? Please, I want that my eye will come back again. Then they put their lotus hand. Then Billu Mangal's eye came out. Then Billu Mangal not living yet. What do you want? Please make me make me blind again. Why? Billu Mangal told, "By which eyes I have seen the beauty of both of you. I don't want to see anything in this world anymore. So make me blind, please. So then, then, then make him blind again. Like this, Guru Dev told, if you do Tirtha Parjatan, means you are wandering Tirtha here and there, like Kedarnath, Bhutinath, Ganga Sagar." He could not get so much. The what to do? He have to listen Hari Katha. Then Guru Dev asked about Tanu Bang Manobhi. Tanu means body. By body, you have to do pranam to speaker, audiences, and the manager who is managing all these things. And Tanu Bang means by speech. What will do by speech? What Hari Katha he have heard from them? He have to praise them. Oh, this is very good arrangement. Speaker my is very nice. My life has been successful by hearing. My life being successful hearing this Hari Katha. I never heard such good Hari Katha. I never heard so sweet Hari Katha. Never get this such good audience. I never meet this such speaker. And Manu Hibins by mind. Which Hari Katha you have heard from Guru and Vishnu was you have to meditate time to time. Time to always. Right. Always have to meditate. Then actually you can enter in. Krishna Dil, Guru Dev explain by this in Jagannath Puri. Thank you. Hare Krishna. First was Gyan Shunya Bhakti, and here Raya Ramananda, Mahaprabhu told, uh, Raya Ramanand told, Prem Bhakti. Oh, there are so much far difference in Gyan Shunya Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Jnana bhakti, it may be that there is no love and affection. Jnana bhakti, that is, oh, we have no taste. We have so many far far area, and we are worshiping, but heart is not there. This is Jnana. And if love and affection is full there, there is something lacking in your archan even. No, 
If you are totally stop your archan, even no harm. If you are remembering past times of Krishna. Understand? If you are not doing archan, not doing all other things, but you are hearing and remembering. You stop what? Archan. Other things. So, here he is telling of Prema Bhakti Sarva Shadha What is the meaning? Nanu Pachar Kitapujanam Artabandho. Prem Naiva Bhakta Hridayam Sukha Vidru Tamsa. Javat Chudhanti Jarthare Jartha Adipash. Tavat Sukhaya Bhavato Nanu Bhakti. Oh, you. Now, see, Roy Ramananda, he's giving a suggestion to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu about Prema Bhakti. This verse we can find in, it has been compiled in the Padyavali of Srila Rupa Goswami Bhad. He's saying here that, Nano Pachara Kitapujama Atabhando, that the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he's called Atabhando, the friend of those who are artha, that means distressed, those who feel distressed. But this verse specifically is saying, Prenaiva Bhaktaridayam Sukhavidyutam Shat. The devotee who has prem, Prenaiva. The devotee who has prem, he is doing puja, he is worshipping. How? Nanopachara Krita Pujanam. By many different types of paraphernalia. But he is feeling some distress. What is that distress? Oh, Krishna, if you will not accept my offering, oh, then I will die. He has love, and he wants that Krishna will accept his offering so much. Now, ordinarily, people will think that Supreme Personality of Godhead is Atmaram and Aptakam. All of his desires are fulfilled. He has no hunger, no thirst. So why will Krishna accept any offering? If you are not hungry, then there will be no pleasure in your eating. So similarly, if Supreme Lord is Atmaram self-satisfied, why should he accept anyone's offering? Mm -hmm. So here in this verse, Rai Ra Ramananda is explaining that when the devotee has prayed and he's feeling some distress, Oh Krishna, please accept my offering. Then the love of the devotee causes a hunger and a thirst in Krishna. And therefore, because now Krishna has hunger and thirst, he will come, he will accept that offering in order to pacify the heart of the devotee who is feeling distressed. And upon tasting those offerings, even though it seems like ordinary paraphernalia, anyway Krishna is coming and he's tasting that and he relishes and he enjoys happiness in that. Why? Because the praying in the heart of the devotee has created a great hunger in him. So the example is given of Vidurani. When Krishna came to the house of Vidura, then Vidurani, she was in so much ecstasy. She was making bananas and peeling them, throwing the bananas away by accident and giving Krishna the peel. <laughs> then Krishna was take, taking in the peel. Now banana peel is not very delicious. Hmm? But for Krishna, this peel was so tasty. He was hungry. Hmm? When he saw the peel, some water was coming on his tongue. Why was this hunger coming in him? Because Vidurani had so much love. Hmm? Vidura wanted to check her. Hey, what are you doing? But Krishna said, shh, don't. Don't say anything. Why? Because she will be in pain, thinking that her service is not perfect service. Hmm? So Krishna, he is not eager to taste your different types of paraphernalia. Nano pachara krita bhujanama arta bandhu. In uh, Archan, there are 16 types of paraphernalia, such as giving a seed and bathing the feet, giving argya, madhu parka, oils, and many types of mm, offerings. 16 types of paraphernalia. Is Krishna greedy for this? No, you'll have no taste at all. But if someone has praying, they're offering, feeling some distress in their heart, their heart is melting with love for Krishna, then all of a sudden, all of those preparations become very, very attractive and tasty to Krishna, and he wants to take them. So this is the essence of this verse spoken by Vairana Mahindra. Thank you. Thank you. In Jagannath Puri, Srila Gurudev told that Krishna went to Duryodhan 
for make some compromise to give five village to Pandavas. When Krishna arrived there, Duryodhan arranged an air-conditioned room. All facilities were was there. Were there. Everything so were there. That house was golden. Yes, golden palace. So Krishna told, and Duryodhan offered so many food stuff. Krishna told, I am not hungry. I am Atma Ram Aptakam, so I no need to take anything. In three conditions you can eat anywhere, Krishna told to Duryodhan. First one, if you will come to, to serve any purpose, if that purpose serve, then you can eat. Krishna told, I came for compromise, so compromise is not possible, so I could not eat. So I will not. So I will not eat. Then Krishna gives second example. If there is any purpose serve or not, but if I have love between you and me, then I can take. So there is no love between you and me, so I could not eat anything in your so royal I will palace. Not take. So I will not take anything in your royal palace. And Third I... one, Krishna told if you are hungry, then you can take. But I am not hungry at all because I am Atmadam and Aptakam. So I am beyond hunger and thirst, so I could not take. Then Krishna came to Vidurani's house and he ate the banana peel. Then Gurudev told that Bhagavan is so controlled by bhakti, by devotee. Bhakti drabra prabhu kari kari khai, abhakti drabra prabhu latina chai. If devotee don't want to give, Bhagavan will take by force. No, I want this. I'm quarreling. I'm like Mahaprabhu quarreling with Sridhar Kala Becha. Sridhar told you could not go, there are so many businessmen. I am very poor Brahmin, I only buy this or see Ganga Devi, this and that, but no, I want this, by force you will take. The Guru that give all these examples in Jagannath Puri. Hare Krishna. Oh, that is one thing. Hum log bhuk hai hai. We are hungry. To, Ushma me, साधारण एक शाख भी एक साधारण द्रव्य भी सत्तु भी एक चना भी बहुत अच्छा स्वादिष्ट लगेगा और यदि भूख नहीं है तो इंद्र का भोग भी रसगुल्ला पांतुआ भी अमृत भी अच्छा नहीं लगेगा इसलिए भूख की जरूरत when one is feeling hungry at at that time, whatever meal is available, any ordinary kind, maybe any spinach or even grounded chickpea with no salt, it's very delicious because of the hunger or appetite. And conversely, when one is not hungry, then even if one is provided with delicious sweets, rasgullas or even nectar, then one really does not enjoy it or that food is not tasted so deliciously because of lack of hunger. <laughs> In a battlefield, one person was injured. At that point, he was struggling and desiring to have a drop of water. A person close by, he told, I'll give you two drops of water if you give me all your possession, all your wealth, all your money. So Even he can give his whole kingdom, his whole life. He can give his wife also. Oh, for? Drop of water. But if he is not thirsty, there is no mulya of Oh, very sweet and cold water too. So here, you should think. So many paraphernalias are there. You are worshipping. Oh, apne anushthan ke liye hi kebul kar rahe ho. Hamko karna hai, is liye hamko ye karna chahiye. Pani aur phool, janehu, और और सब चीजों को ले आया और वो पूजा कर रहा है अर्चन कर रहा है मन कहीं दूसरी जगह हो सकता है 
mind is there, he thinks everybody, anything else. Uh, and doing, oh, Krishna will not accept that. Yeah. One may be performing worship just for the sake that of You are it. all like doing. Or engaging in performing the limbs of bhakti just for doing sake, but not really he wants to do it for oh, his like heart. Or like water in what battlefield. Then Krishna will not accept that offering because he is only hunger for the love or uh, the inspiration of that devotee and which is not present there. But one thing is here. Here the Thakur ke prati prem jis ka hai, bhook hai, usko to bhot hi aswadani ya hoga. Kintu yaha par hai nanu pachar krita atam und bandho prem nai yu bhakta hridayam. Vidhutam sarvasukar. So here, he, what he is told? Kishka heard that? Devotees heard that. Devotees. Huh? But you are doing archan to Krishna. The so Krishna should be happy. Why he, here I, they told that Bhakta Hridayam Vidru Tamsha. Why it has been told? Understand the question? Tum samjha. Archan tam karne Krishna ke liye. Jo Krishna prasanna ho. तो कृष्ण को प्रसन्न न होना चाहिए तो कृष्ण को भूख है क्या कृष्ण को तो कभी भूख नहीं है ये तुम हमारा अर्चन करो हमको ये करो हमको अपना प्रेम करो लव करो ये तो है नहीं तो तो उदाहरण ये ठीक नहीं लगता किंतु फिर भी ये ठीक है कैसे ठीक है सो श्री गुरुदेव स्पीकिंग अ वेरी नाइस पॉइंट इन दिस वर्ड्स इट इज सेड इन दिस वर्ड दैट द डिवोटी ही फील्स प्लेजर और हैप्पीनेस बट what is actually happening when one is engaging in worshipping Krishna? Try to go deep, then you can understand, otherwise you cannot touch. Very, very high thing. When so, it... my Shiksha Guru, Shri Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, he never explained all these things there, because they were in primary state. Need for it. They cannot understand. But I want to give all explanation now you are from what? Natural. Now you can. But not all. Very rare like this. And you should try to be among rare. <laughs> so, the devotee who is performing worship, he has the need to do it. So that is why, in result, he is feeling some happiness. But, actual worship is performed for Krishna. So Krishna should be happy. But, Krishna is Atmaram, Aptakam, self-satisfied. He doesn't need is that. Is he hungry for that your, your archan? Does he want? No. You are doing or not, he has nothing to do. So then the question is then how this verse is actually correct and that we will hear oh, now. Yes, or no. <coughs> if Mother Jasoda who thinks that my children my child is so hungry. And he gives his breast meal. Then Krishna also feeling oh so much hungry. Otherwise he will never. Where there is will of bhakta, the will of Krishna comes. If no will of bhakta, so when all this bhakta thinks, oh, Krishna is hungry. I should give something. I sh he is thirsty. I should give water. All the paraphernalia. Then, oh, Krishna oh, becomes so hungry and thirsty. He wants that bhakta sukhi. You know, in Ram Lila, Ram was going in the forest and he became thirsty, uh, very hungry. And he went, oh, there were so many Rishi Marsis, millions of they are here. But he never went there, because for them he is thirsty. No, he was not. Because his, that devotee, Sabari, of low class, like Pulindis, and old lady, and she was waiting from long, long time that Ram will come, when Ram will come. And that is why he became angry and went back to her body. Not anything. 
because oh, she was hungry. What hungry? Find out. So if this stage is that, then Krishna also becomes like that, and then Krishna becomes happy, and this class of devotee also becomes satisfied. Eat no prem. He doing archan. Is he offering anything to Krishna? He will not take. Same thing to Guru. Guru is not hungry. He don't want anything. Oh, he wants that you should be a high class of devotee to realize all these things. And if you think, I should, must serve my Guru Dev, my Shiksha Guru. And then he will have, oh, what you have brought? Oh, I wanted this thing from long time. I, I like this. He will tell. And he will show that he is very, very happy by this donation. Oh, I was thinking. I have not taken from long time this shock, this chapati, or this garland, or anything. So that should, must be some love and affection, then he will accept. But something is lacking here also. So he is telling. This is first and second shloka he told. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Jadi Lapyate Tatra Laulam Api Mullyame Kalam. Or he is also remembering me that I told that he was hungry to take the milk of Mother Jasoda, but for Devaki, no hunger. Because her love and affection was not like He can take anything very forcibly, quarreling from Madhumangal and Subal. Oh, if they are take, giving, oh, in mouth, oh, he will open the mouth and then he will tell anything. But for you and for me, Hmm. Also he is remembering me that I, that I told Jagya Patni of Mathura, the wives of the Brahmanas. They wanted to serve, they had desire, but liking something. But they have not come in gopi form. And that is why they have no that mood of gopis. They have not done anugatha of gopis. Also for Lakshmi, she wanted to serve Krishna. But he, she has no form of gopis. And he was a chest lady. And he cannot keep up chest, chastity. And she cannot serve any gopi or any go like husband. So Krishna refused. There are so many things. Say love and affection should be, but should be like oh, high standard then. Then he is telling. Oh, these are the symptoms of Bhaiji Bhakti up till now. Achan and everything. Where there is some love, a part of love is there. Doing Archan. Like what doing? And giving for some flowers and doing archana. What is this? Because our Guru Parampara has given a system of archana. We are. And even Guru Dev coming, whether Guru Dev likes it or not, when he will come, it is very cold. But even they will bring a pot, so much water, and garland. 
So it is too cold. But <laughs> from refrigerator they will bring. <laughs> and wash his what? And they will blow shankha. And fanning also. What is this? What is this to Guru Dev? This is like Archan. But we should follow. We should follow. This is like a process. But really, a high class of devotee or disciple, oh, he, th he sees, my Guru Dev's mouth is somewhat dry. At once, he will not do Archan. Oh, first you should take this. He thinks that he wants to go to bathroom. Oh, first he will go. Anyway. If he wants, oh, my Guru Dev is tired, he wants to rest. He will make that. Oh, tomorrow, he will declare that tomorrow, oh, that this function will be done. Like in this way. So where there is love, affection, oh, Krishna, accept this. No love and affection, you should do ghanta, oh, millions of years, hours, oh, he will not come. What? But we should follow. Who should, who should follow? Though has not so love and affection, they are in Vaidhi They should follow. What? Krishna accepted the breast of Bhutana even though her desire was to, to kill him was a poison. Can you explain? No, he never accepted. The mood only, what? Oh, she took the form of a mother and told, Oh my God, why you are here? I want to keep in my heart. And for this reason also, oh, he gave him, gave her, oh, very high position, like motherly hood he gave. Not in Vrindavan, but in Golo. Oh, there are so many. Gaur, there is no Vishakha, no Lalita, no Krishna. Only there. Uh. The question is, Navadvi is more complete and superior than Godavari or Jagannath Puri. So we know that Rai Ramananda is in Godavari and Jagannath Puri. How is he in a more complete form in Navadvi? Oh, I told so many. So many times. And next day, if you will ask, we will try to solve it. Um, you know, we are offering to talk to you, like, I have no love, but we're trying to offer to so we can accept Oh, by doing love. regularly and following the process, oh, Guru and Vaishnava and Krishna will be merciful to give you that kind of love. Yeah. Krishna is accepting now, or It may be, it not, maybe it depends on the mood of devotees. If we are asking to offer, then he is What we should offer. And it may be that love and affection may come by this process. There is no other way for karmis and uh, kanishtha dhikari. For kanishtha dhikari, archan is essential. Whether he has love and affection. But only the thing, don't be like Bhrita Puja. Oh. Pay it was Sipa. Pay it was Understand? I know. Pujari by salary. Pujari by don't accept. Pujari by salary. Hari Bol, Shri Gurudev Ki. So tomorrow morning, Sri Pad Madhav Maharaj, his last day, he can do early morning class, so 7 o'clock class. Why all, always and daily Madhav Maharaj? Why not? There are so many. All are doing. He, he, three times class. Early. I want that um, 
all should have chance to speak. Then we have special You cannot day. chant in here. <laughs> also, then I tell you, tomorrow, maybe we'll come with a different idea, more satisfactory. Sri Padmaram Maharaj will give class at 7 o'clock, and then it seems to be a successful formula. If we can get this many people only at the 10 o'clock class, the 7 o'clock class ends on time. Then we'll ask the entire Sanyasi Vrinda, Ranya Maharaj, Ashram Maharaj, Bhakti Samaraj, to come, and again, all questions can be brought. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. One thing is that for five days here, if you are constantly hearing Harikatha, and you are lessening your chanting, no harm. When Sukhdev Goswami, or any high, more higher than us, and he is doing Harikatha, we should hear. And we should, this gap should be fulfilled when you are not in this kind of So, with the bodies, is that okay or not? So that 10 o'clock class, we have the sannyasi bring to come, and they can answer questions, or even give Katana as questions. Then we'll have lunch prasadam, and the bodies can then have some time afterwards. We're not then swimming in the lake and boating, must be some <laughs> some other use. Right. Well, actually, what we could do at three o'clock, then it's a very good idea. Shamrani Didi had requested many devotees had come to her. New devotees wanted to learn many things about the very basic things. <laughs>